What's up YouTubers, James the Thunder here, back for a different type of video for you. This time it's an unboxing video, but for the first time I'm going to be unbox unboxing some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, this is the new set, the Yu-Gi Legendary Collection, and to be honest it comes in a nice gold box. Quite tough material as well compared to you know the premium golds and stuff that come out. Now I've been buying quite a few cards a lot uh, recently, especially, and this is the new set that's come out. I've heard there's some pretty decent cards in here, so let's have a look. So there's the foil off, off the top, as you can see, let's open up the box and see what we get inside. This is my first Yu-Gi-Oh box, um, um, this is my first Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing I should say. So, let's have a look at the first promo pack. Let's have a look inside. And there's nothing under there. So as you can see we've got the promo cards right here, and the three decks. So, we'll go through the three decks in a minute, we'll go through the promo cards first. Again, I'm, this is my first Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing, so... There might be a few sort of mess-ups on my behalf, but... We've got the electro Electromagnetic Turtle as a secret rare. Dark Renewal as a secret rare. Another secret rare, Black Illusion. Glory to the King's Hand, this is an anime only card. This is a card you used if you won Dualist Kingdom to earn riches from Pegasus. Sets out for Dualist Kingdom, another uh, anime card. Dualist Kingdom, another anime card. And the non playable Egyptian God card Slifer, Obelisk, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Nice. Slifer's my favourite out of the. Oh, dropped him. Slifer being my favourite of the three Egyptian God cards. You've got Slifer, Obelisk, the Winged Dragon of Ra. And here we've got a Yugi token, so I'm going to put Slifer at the top there, so these are non-playable versions of the Egyptian God card, as you can see in the corner there, cannot be used in a duel. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I've got these, I can put these in my binder. So, yeah, Egyptian God cards, some anime cards, Electromagnetic Eternal, Dark Renewal, Black Illusion, and Token. So, now that we've got the primaries out of the way... We can get through the decks. First, we're going to go through the one with Exodia at the top. So, let's go through that. And to be honest, I apologise about my voice. I'm getting over an illness at the moment, so if I, if I sound like I'm ill, I kind of am. So, I've managed to sort of get the plastic bit off. I had to stop the video there because it takes me so damn long to open those things. So, we got Exodia, the Forbidden One, the right leg of the Forbidden One, the left leg of the Forbidden One, the left arm of the Forbidden One, and the left arm of the Forbidden One. Next we've got the Black Luster Soldier, but that's only a common. Uh, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Dark Magician is a common. Dark Magician Girl, also a common. Guy of the Fierce Knight, Summon Skull, Curse of Dragon, Catapult Turtle, Celtic Guardian, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress Number 1, Feral Imp, Beaver Warrior, uh, Griffor, Mystical Elf, uh, the Giant Soldier of Stone, Mammoth Graveyard, Karibo, Monster Reborn, Swords of Revealing Light, Mystical Box, Brain Control, Monster Recovery, Spell Shatter and Arrow, Horn of the Unicorn, Mystical Mystical Moon, Burning Land, Multiply, Detonate, Haiku, The Magical Mist, Polymerization, Black Luster Ritual, Mirror Force, Magical Hat, Eye of the Truth, Shift, and Guy the Dragon Champion. I'm a bit disappointed that that one is only a common rather than a hollow, but I think the only hollows in this actual deck here were the Exodia pieces. But yeah, they're all super. They're all ultra rares. So I'm kind of also disappointed that the Black Luster Soldier is also a common, uh, as well as some of the other main cards: Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and Guy the Fierce Knight, and all them. But you know what? To be honest, this is a deck based on Yugi's time in uh, Doors Kingdom. I'm happy about the five Exodia pieces. That's going to go well. And I've got a couple of other decent cards. You know, common or not, pretty pretty decent set. But there's another two decks to get through. So let's have a look. Put those down there. Let's go through the next set. Next, we're moving on to the Magnet Warriors deck, and as you can see at the top there, we got an ultra rare Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior. We got Arcana's Dark Magician. That's the card that everyone's been wanting. I don't think it's ever been moved over to the TCG, but it finally has as an ultra rare. We got an alternate art Dark Magician girl as an ultra rare. Nice. Ultra rare Swords of Revealing Light, Mirror Force as well. A Buster Blader, Archfiend of Gilfer, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight. King's Knight, Ber um, Berthamont, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, Alpha the Magnet Warrior, Beta the Magnet Warrior, Gamma the Magnet Warrior, Big Shield Gardener, 
another Karibo, Monster Reborn again. It's on the ban list, so it's not really a card you can use in your deck, but it's nice to have it. Uh, Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Knives, Magic Formula, Magical Dimension, uh, Diffusion, Wave, Motion, Double Spell, Ectoplasma, Soul Taker, Part of Greed, uh, Card Destruction, Exchange, Monster Recovery, Polymerization, Diffusion, Multiply, Magical Hats, Magic Cylinders, Spellbinding Circle, Light Ball Sword, Chain Destruction, Soul Rope, Tragedy, and we've got the Fusion Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. So again, this set is also worth getting, especially because of sort of those three ultra rares, especially with Arcana's Red Dark Magician, Valkyrian the Magna Warrior, and the Dark Magician Girl. I don't think I've ever actually seen that in the TCG, but I could be wrong. The alternate art Dark Magician Girl, that looks nice as hell. And you got, of course, Mirror Force and Swords of Revealing Light 2. As well as a couple of other you know, commons as well. If you want to build up a Magnet Warrior deck, you definitely can with Alpha, Gamma, and Beta. But yeah, again, another set. Two cards I don't believe I've ever seen in the TCG, but I could be wrong there. And yeah, definitely another set. And to say that this was only £20, it's definitely worth it. Now let's move on to the next deck and the final deck in this box. Moving on to the third and final deck, we can already see we've got the Dark Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, the Dark Magician of Chaos next. Silent Magician level 8, the Dark Magician, that's sort of the second edition Dark Magician that they ever released, Gold Sarcophagus, uh, Gandora the Dragon of Destruction, Silent Magician level 4, Silent Magician level 7, Silent Magician level 5, Silent Magician level 3, Dark Magician Girl, another alternate art, again that's another one I've never seen, although it is another common, another Buster Blader, the Tricky, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, uh, Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget, uh, the Skilled Dark Magician, The Skilled White Magician, Block Man, okay, Marshmallow, Karibo again, uh, another Monster Reborn, but again it's another card on the ban list, um, Swords of Revealing Light, Cards of Sanctuary, um, Polymerization, Dark Magic Attack, Magicians Unite, um, Dedication Through Light and Darkness, Black Magic Ritual, obviously used to summon the Magician Black Chaos, uh, Tricky Spell 4, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, Marshmallow Glasses, Mirror Force, Magician's Circle, uh, Shattered Axe, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, uh, Miracle Restoring, and Dark Paladin as a Fusion card. So, yeah, I mean, overall, these three decks have got some incredible cards in them, so join me in a second as we look through the breakdown of what you actually get in this set. So my overall thoughts on this set, I mean, you know, you get the Egyptian God cards, which, playable or not, definitely still worth the price. It's £20 for the entire set. And, I mean, even non-playable versions of these go for about £10 on eBay, so that already, you've already made your money back. Um, you know, these three anime cards are really cool to actually have in a collection, especially if you're a fan of the original series of the anime, which I definitely am. Uh, these are the sort of promo cards I'm not really that fussed about, but it's nice to have them. All secret rare as well, so that was interesting. Um, all three decks seem to be capped off by a common fusion card, and, you know, that's absolutely fine, because they're all decent fusion cards as well so if you're looking to build a deck based on different fusion materials that's definitely going to be you know worth it for you this dark magician girl I, I swear I've never seen it in the TCG but if, I, if if it has been released in the TCG I'm sure, some, I'm sure someone will correct me but yeah that's definitely an interesting one but then all the hollows as well that you get with this set I mean I mean you get playable versions of Exodia I mean there's nothing on these cards that say they're not playable so you get the five pieces of Exodia Arcana's Dark Magician, which I'm 99% sure has never been moved to the TCG. Uh, Valkyrian the Magna Warrior, which is definitely, obviously, a very good card. 3500 attack, I mean, you know, it's Valkyria. Um, this alternate art, Dark Magician Girl. you got three Dark Magician Girls in this set, which is interesting. And then you get these three pretty, you know, damn decent Magic and Trap cards. You get another Dark Magician in there. You get... Um, Silent Magician of Light, Dark Magician of Chaos, and the Magician of Black Chaos as well. All of them ultra rare. So, I mean, if you're asking for my honest, honest to god thoughts on this set, I'm definitely going to say it's worth it. I mean, as well as well as when you look at the fact that these are three entirely full decks based on Yugi's cards. I mean, this is more for a collection, I guess, especially with the fact that you can't actually use the God cards in a duel. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with the money I spent on this set. And if you're looking for a set, that definitely encompasses the best you know, from Yugi's decks in the original series. I definitely recommend this set. So, yeah, this was my first Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing, so please let me know how I did and drop a comment in the comment section below. Please like this video, 
Uh, I'm planning on doing more Yu-Gi-Oh unboxings in the future. Obviously not many because I'm primarily a gaming channel, but you know this is definitely something I've, I'm interested in. So I'm probably going to do more of these uh, with other sets that are coming out in the future. Maybe some older sets as well. Obviously, if you're going to subscribe, be aware that this is mainly a gaming channel. So if you want to subscribe for just the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I will be uploading more stuff for that. If you're not really interested in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, what the hell are you doing on this video? But if you are uh, just interested in the gaming stuff, then don't worry, I'm not going to be moving away from that to do Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. This is more just sort of a, a one-off for now, but I'm going to gauge the interest in it before I decide whether or not to do it in the future, uh, to do more of these in the future. So, yeah, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There's going to be plenty of stuff on this channel for everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.